Vampire. I was never hostile to humans to begin with. Most of everyone inside the Monstler's Castle is a member of the Reconciliation Faction, too. Most monsters who were in opposition to the Reconciliation approach towards humans left the castle during the reign of the previous Monster Lord. Though there were some who remained that didn't take a stance one way or the other. Yeah, because it wasn't until later in her life that Alice the 15th uh, decided that reconciliation was the way to go. Behemoth. Those chimeras are crazy strong! Yes, beast type monsters are being overpowered by their strength and agility. If we don't start using some teamwork, we won't win against them. I don't like it. I guess there's no choice but to do some joint operations of humans, huh? Elder Succubus. To think I'd be fighting alongside a human hero. But I know well that you wield that sword for our sakes, too. Ah, uh, but you know... If you let me have just a small taste of your stuff... All my misgivings will be completely gone. Hey, just let me suck a little, please. <laughs> Luca needs his energy. Stop it. <sighs> First lounge. It has been two years, hasn't it? Yeah, you haven't changed a bit since then, I see. And you seem to look more like a king than before. When last we were together, I was worried about whether you would fit into the role of king or not. <laughs> that was embarrassing, wasn't it? The two of the rulers of the major powers seem to be talking on really familiar terms. You seem to know each other already? Until a few decades ago, Grand Gold and Grand Noah were on bad terms. Our countries fought over who had claimed to the Lima Mine, where you could mine magic stones. Yeah, uh, you even have an all-out war going on in Paradox. I see. But after years of war, the country grew tired of constant strife. So... A double marriage alliance was proposed. The prince of Grand Noah was to wed the daughter of the Grand Gold King. And the Grand Noah princess and the Grand Gold Prince. The children birthed from those respective unions are the current Grand Noah Queen and me. So it's slightly convoluted, but we are related by blood. I mean, if it was, you know, if you both had uh, the parents from the, from the same two families, then biologically speaking, wouldn't that make you siblings? I mean, I know literally they're cousins, but I think biologically speaking, it would make them siblings. Anyway. Our lineage itself is the proof of friendship between our two countries. Didn't really work out well in Paradox. Of course, there was some, uh, some infiltration going on there, so can't really blame y'all for that. Since the double marriage, there hasn't been a single battle. I hope these friendly relations will continue forever. But first we have to survive this crisis threatening the world. We'll both do our best. Luca, you have the most difficult role. But we trust you. Yes, leave it to me. My determination redoubled in front of the two related leaders. Second lounge. The woman lounging on a surfa sofa in the room. It's the owner of the Sutherland Inn from Iliusburg. I thought you were Aunt Betty for a second. 
I can never tell you two apart. <laughs> Miss, why are you here in the Monster Lord's castle? I'm here as the representative from Iliusburg. Iliusburg is currently the economic power in the world. Our leadership is run by a council of ten members, drawn from the ten biggest guilds. I'm the leader of the N Guild. So the council voted to send me here as a representative of Iliusburg. I see, so that's why. I didn't participate in the meeting because I was hesitant to sit alongside all those kings and queens. But I heard the outline of the strategy. Iliusburg will fully cooperate. Yes, let's do our best. By the way, have you seen my little lammy? I brought her, brought her with me, but I think she got lost somewhere. If I see her, I'll let you know. I'd be surprised if she got lost in this huge castle. Since she's a monster herself, I doubt she'll run into any problems, but still. Dying all. I thought you admired Gramparia and wished to be her apprentice for swordplay. Why are you dressed as a maid and serving people here? Um... It's true, I am Maya Grimberia and came here after her. Sarah cringes as her father interrogates her. Also, I think both of their uses of the word admire may not be meaning the same thing. Hmm... Sarah, you... You aren't! As the Sabasa King stares at Sarah, his eyes slowly open wide. I think he just noticed the inhuman power hiding behind her eyes. But, Father? I see. So your monster blood awoke. I... I'm sorry. Was the true reason you left Sabasa because your blood awoke? So you came here to the Monstor's castle yourself? No, that isn't exactly why. But I've been taught here how to control my power. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It isn't unheard of for our royal line, but... The king's gaze turns toward me. As you can see, my daughter has turned into a partial monster. But you, as a firm believer in coexistence, have no issues with this, correct? A tricky question. If I say no, it's like I'm accepting his proposal. If I say yes, it's like I'm refuting my views on coexistence. Even though that's not really what he's asking about. I can't help but reluctantly nod. Whether human or monster, it doesn't matter. I see. Thank you. I'm entrusting my daughter to you. This is getting complicated. <laughs> Sarah, you just have to put your foot down and tell your father how you really feel. <laughs> Large library. The large, quiet library where monsters don't seem to ever go. Surprisingly, the San Ilya King is here, moving about restlessly. Incredible! The original copy of the Magic Hammer still exists! And the complete sets of the Noel Historia? Mountains of fabled books! Believe to have been lost from this world. Oh! The Gnosis Book of Hours! The king is shaking in excitement before a pile of books. Honestly, I want to live here for a decade and just read. That catalog! Where is the library's catalog? These books are so difficult! Hey, hey! Is that a picture book? This corner seems to have picture books for monsters. 
Spirit Sylph's Cheap Papa. I've never heard of this one before. Oh my, you seem to be quite attached to him. For fairies to be so friendly towards a religious leader. Yay! It's the queen! These girls help change my mind. We humans have been too ignorant about the beings known as monsters. We believe them pure evil, and our fear turned into hostility. Our religious teachings themselves only serve to amplify that vicious cycle. Hmm. So these girls can open even the most closed of human hearts. That they became so attached to you is proof that... At your core, you are a sincere, honest human. So please, take care of my daughters in the future, too. And I hope that in the future, the entire race known as fairies will come to be accepted as you have accepted these girls. It would bring me great happiness. Of course, I shall make great efforts for that. But first, we must regain peace. <laughs> nice moments all around. Conference room. When I come back to the conference room, there are even more monsters around than there were during the summit. Monsters who rule each locale. Wait, no. The monsters who rule each locale. This should be quite an interesting meeting. More than just humans, we don't even truly know each other. We'll need the meetings like this to communicate and come to understand each other. Queen Harpy, Queen Elf, Queen Fairy. Queen Ant, and even the new Queen Alrani. The monsters who rule over each area have all... The monsters who rule over each area have all gathered together. I govern Yamatai Village, and near to attaining the seat of Queen Lamia. I govern the Succubus Village. I'm not hiding the seat of Queen Succubus. Succubus and Shirohibe, too. It looks like every powerful monster is here. I am Queen of the Cern Seas. A friendly meeting with monsters from other regions seemed interesting. The North Sea is our my domain. I tend to avoid collusion, but this seems a useful meaning to be a part of. I am master of the Sabasa region, Sphinx. I was initially hesitant to come here, but I hope to find some answers. Kraken, Poseidonis, and even Sphinx. Truly, all the leading monsters in the world. And... I'm the representative of the Ace Bear Tyalamia. It tastes bad. Please don't eat me. Tyalamia huddles herself in a ball with tears in her eyes. How'd she get it here? Oh, a monster representative of Iliasburg. That's news to me. <laughs> Another lead Lamia. Do you wish to compete against me for the seat of Queen Lamia? Sheesh, don't bully her. <laughs> With the small, nervous, tiny Lamia in attendance, the meeting between the leading monsters starts. After the meeting is over, the monsters leave the room one by one. Why'd you slip in there? I was following the old lady, but I got lost. I just wandered in there while I was looking around. She's still terrified, even after the meeting broke up. She's looking for you. You should go back right away. Yeah, thank you. That reminds me. I got three pretty jewels from Miss Tamamo. She said they were filled with a spirit power, and to use them if we were in danger. What's going to happen? I don't know what it'll do. 
If tomorrow gave it to you, I'm sure it'll be useful. Iceberg will be under attack tomorrow, like everyone else. Perhaps tomorrow gave it to her some sort of trump card? Okay, I'll keep good care of it. Since there's three, I'll give one to Vampy and Puppy. <laughs> yeah, they did keep the names between, <laughs> between Paradox. She's not Lampy, Vanilla's not Vampy, and Pappy's not Puppy. <laughs> Do your best tomorrow. Yes, we'll protect everyone in town. Do your best too, Luca. Both of us leave with renewed determination. I guess I could check to see if she actually went back. Oh. Wrong one. Saint one. Okay. Nope. Can't let her know. Alright, Grand Barrier's room. Finally, the decisive battle. Just double check your lower half. Okay. Finally, the decisive battle. I'm itching to get going. After spending so long in bed recovering, there's nothing I want to do more than rampage around. Yes. What's with those clothes? Hmm? They're just normal clothes. Did you think I would even sleep in my armor? I sort of did. About the Monster Lord's Throne fight. Naturally, I just wanted to test out how far my sword skills have come. The daughter of the Monster Lord, Alphys. What better opponent could there have been? But she outmatched me. I determined she was one worthy enough to entrust my sword to. If you have one, would you have taken the, the, the Monster Lord's seat? To be honest, I have no interest in the position itself. I would have relinquished it right away and continue training. I ask about Ark and Seal. When we fought before, I was already wounded. Even without that, I know she was stronger than me. But I wasn't just beaten into inaction for no reason. I evaluated her fighting style and took note of many things. I'll have a rematch with her. And don't worry. I have no intention of losing. What will you do during peacetime? I haven't thought about anything past this impending battle. But in a world of peace, what use is there for a swordswoman? I'll confront that issue when it comes. But don't worry, I don't intend to disturb the game peace. I mean, even in times of peace, you need to have some force in order to maintain it. About Ask about the dragon seal. That reminds me. Do you know what this is, Grimberia? I show Grimberia the mark on the back of my hand. It's hard to see normally, but under the right light, it's visible. You... That's... Do you know what it means to show this to me? Luca, it means you are proposing to her! Eh? Don't show this mark to someone of the dragon race without thinking carefully. You'll cause quite a few... misunderstandings. Huh? Yep. You just... Basically, <laughs> showed her the biggest diamond ring uh, that you could possibly buy, and were like, I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> no more questions. If you have no more questions, I'll be taken off now. That reminds me. 
You got into your duel with Alma Elma? Can I watch you two spar? No. A true fight is no spectacle. Yeah, you also don't want to embarrass yourself. <laughs> I see where she's coming from, but her response is so strange. If you're done here, you should return to your room. Bluntly driven out of her room. She's going to the duel of Alma Elma now. I'm interested in just what sort of fight they would have together. Watch in secret. Always watch in secret. Shall I watch them in secret? I really am just too interested in their duel. Moving as quietly as I can, I head to the practice grounds. Completely erasing any indication of my presence, I watched the two of them from a hiding spot in the practice grounds. You never learn, do you, Granberry? You can never beat me. Quiet! Here I come! Granberry swings down with a quick, powerful slash. Alma Elma's face gets serious and dodges by a hair's breadth. Oh my, that was quite fast. Did you think you'd win if you got in the first attack? But I was expecting that sort of strategy. Gah! Seeing your chance, Alma, Elma jumps closer to Grand Barrier. Even I could see that one coming. Alma, Elma taunted her into it. And Grand Barrier attacked too quick as a result. Ka you. Alma grabs Holo Granberia. Her almost playful grapple is devoid of any bloodthirst, leaving a serene state useless. Get off! Granberia struggled intensely, but suddenly her body jumps in surprise. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now Granberia is going to be molested by Alma Elma. But we shall be skipping that. <laughs> Luca just saw something incredible. <laughs> Alma Elma's room. With tomorrow being the final battle, I'm feeling a little excited. Let's both do our best, Luca. She seems awfully happy and excited before the big fight. I wonder if she isn't nervous at all. About the Monster Lord's throne fight. Because it seemed fun, of course. The fight of the century that every monster pays close attention to. It gives me shivers just thinking about it. It seems like she wasn't interested in the position itself. Just like in the Colosseum, it seems she just likes fighting before a crowd. I heard that you just surrendered when you could have kept fighting. I had enough fun, so I keep going after that. It would have been ugly to be seen desperately fighting, after all. But he answers as always. That was as far as you could go before you got serious, huh, Alma Elma? <laughs> Ask about Heinwell. When we fought before, I was already wounded. I don't lose to someone that can only move that fast. She was created just to fight against you. I'm sure she has weapons other than just her speed. No, that's basically all she's got. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried? Don't worry. I have lots of unexpected weapons of my own. Alright. What will you do during peacetime? Even when it's peaceful, I won't change. I'll just live carefree like the wind. Of course I won't hurt humans or be careless. But I promise that to you, Luca boy. Alright. Ask about how she fights. Alma, how do you use the power of wind? 
Um, well, from the start, Succubi and the Power of Wind have good compatibility. But that doesn't mean you're using it right. If you're rough of it, you can't use proper techniques. You can't just have talent or unfocused training to master it. Rather than having the proper power, I guess you need the proper frame of mind? Oh my, Luca's so mean! Isn't that the same for martial arts? Without proper technique, it's just fancy names for punching and kicking. If you were more serious, you'd be amazing. But, in the beginning, even martial arts were created just for show. If the audience enjoys it, that's enough for me. It seems like sort of a waste. You'd be so much stronger if you were serious with it. Unlike Graham Barry, I don't train diligently. I'd like things that feel good more than violence. Big answers as always. No, those are pretty direct answers. No more questions. That's it for story time. Or did you want to play together a little? Uh, that's all right. With that, I'll leave Alma's room. To Mamo's room. Busy, busy. There's so much to do before tomorrow's bell. I'm very busy. Tucked away in a corner of the Monsters Castle is a room that reminds me of Yamatai Village. I'm always busy writing something as I walk in. Her eyes flick up to me, a serious look on her face. But the monster lord truly is holding the same dreams as her mother in her. It appears that her mother's values were instilled completely in her. Even the one about sacrificing herself to promote peace with humans. Of course the dangerous alternative was a path of hatred against humans who killed her mother. Yes, I know. I was saying humans for ha harming her mother. It was what Tamama wanted to avoid most in raising her. And her mother's actions were a result of my flawed training and direction. I still hold a deep feeling of guilt for not stopping her. To think she'd yield herself to that simplistic decision. And I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, that dis disaster would have been repeated. I'm entrusting the Monster Lord to you in the future too, Luca. By the way, did you have something you wanted to ask me? About the Monster Lord's throne fight. As you know, the Monster Lord selection was traditionally a one-on-one -on -one fight. That was the first time more than one competed for the title. Even more, three of them were known powerful monsters. Okay, so I guess uh, if since uh, uh, Tamamo has been there the entire time, I guess she would know if this really was the first time more than one uh, fought for the throne. So I guess Black Alice's, uh, her three elites, they didn't uh, compete with her for the for the throne. I thought with how closely Black Alice's adventure mirrors Alice's, that they would have. But I guess that's not the case. Alice would have never lost one on one to any of them. But the three colluded together, they could have attacked her three against one. If that happened, it would have been difficult for her to win. That's true. Granberia, Alma, Elma, and Arobetti all attacked Alice at once. I don't think even she could have won. So I participated to prevent that. If they tried to concentrate their attacks against her, I would stop them. By the end, none tried any sort of cowardly behavior. It was a very refreshing battle, where each used their own powers freely to their utmost. 
Ask about Tsukuyomi. I have a father yet, but apparently she was created with my cells. She'll be an awkward opponent if she really can use Kitsune skills. Though with that said, I can't lose. Why? Because my tail is fluffier than hers. She really gonna be all right? Oh yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Even Promestein knows that. Yeah, this one's just spy time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what will you do during peacetime? Even during peace, I won't change what I'm doing. I'll just keep training and nagging each generation of Monster Lord. The current monster lord, the next, and the next, forever. <laughs> More importantly, what will you do? Which is funny how it seems like Tamamo trains Nero. We haven't seen any evidence that that she trained Nerus in Paradox. <laughs> so I wonder why she went with the boy and not the girl. <laughs> Or maybe Nero just took his training more seriously, and Nerus just kind of blew it off the first chance she got. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. You haven't thought about it? Or are you unable to imagine yourself in a peaceful world? Don't be seized by the temptation of self-sacrifice. That is the easy way out. As someone who stopped Alice from doing that, you already know it well. Please, value your, your own body and life. But ask about Angel Halo. Alice took that sword with her when she left the castle. In order to challenge Ilias, a weapon like that was necessary after all. The history of that blade is complex. But originally it was created to be used by fallen angels. Fallen angels? A long time ago, there was a hero who was unbaptized. He was given a sword from a fallen angel and set out for adventure. To defeat the monster, he defeated the monster lord but became aware of the true evil. Okay, so that uh, that settles it. That uh, that. Heinrich did get, uh, did get Angel Halo, if not from Lucifina, at least from, uh, Fallen Angel, but probably Lucifina. I had thought, I had wondered for a second if he had gotten it from Black Alice, again, because Black Alice's Avenger mirrors Alice's. But nope, he got it from, from a Fallen Angel, probably Lucifina. He defeated the monster lord but became aware of the true evil. That was, of course, the goddess Ilias. That hero's second battle then began. He cut apart angel after angel with that sword the fallen angel granted him. Slicing through angel after angel, both the sword and his own body were covered in pure holy energy. After killing more than 200, he started to go insane. Engrossed in slaughter, he became nothing more than an instrument of death. Known as the Angel Killer, he was feared in the heavens. In the end, his body itself was taken into the sword. I have separated his soul from it and sealed it away. That hero's name was... Well, you already know, don't you? Yes. The legendary hero, Heinrich Hein. I've been fighting together with him this whole time. Well, this by, I guess, technically, since it fused with Angel Halo. But yeah. So yes, uh, Angel and uh, Angel Halo can kill if the uh, if the Willer wants it to. It's just a uh, a blade that doesn't have to kill, I guess. No more questions. 
Sorry, but I'm fairly busy at the moment. I have to attend meetings all over the place. I don't have anything to ask her at the moment, so I excuse myself from her room. Arrow Betty's room. Did you need me for something? Doesn't look like she's going to avoid me. The atmosphere here is so much strange. About the Monster Lord's throne fight. To rescue my brethren who are being pushed to the edge. I intended to rule over humans using the power of a Monster Lord. Of course, I know now that my path was wrong. If I had called for an assault against the humans, the crisis would have been far worse. Ask about Amphis Baina. I was stuck that my attacks could connect with her. I did notice something in our fight. I think that maybe. Is there a chance of winning? Or about you fall silent? She seems to have something in mind, though. What will you do during peace? First, I need to counteract the poison in Dine Spring. Even if I gather together all my brethren, I don't know how long it will take. In addition, we must push forward peaceful relations with humans. Will you assist me at that time? Yes, of course! Arabetti slowly, silently stares at me. Did I give her the wrong answer? Ask about her room. Why am I Arabetti? What's up with this room? Actually, is this even a room? It seems more like a waterway. This room is very comfortable. Three times a day, a strong current comes through and refills it. While laying it during this time, my heart is eased. You want to try it with me, Luca? Uh, um, sure. Maybe next time. Isn't this the, just the drainage for the castle? Are you lounging and shit? <laughs> I thought that your whole deal was that uh, bad water is bad for slimes. But you can lounge and learn a little shit and be fine. I guess you are the queen slime, but still. No more questions. You don't need anything else? Uh, yes, that was all. So, see you later. I don't quite get it, but there's a strange atmosphere between us. I'll quickly leave uh, Arabetti's strange room. Monster Lord's Throne. Huh, Luca? I'm very busy at the moment. I'm stuck writing handwritten letters about the decisive bow coming up to everyone. Sorry, but I can't keep you company at the moment. I'll do your room later, so please wait a while. She'll head to my room? Eh? I have a bad feeling. Back to my room. <sighs> I head back to my own room and sit down on my bed. With the final battle tomorrow, it's hard for me to calm down. Luca, may I come in? Now knocks on my door as usual. And without waiting for a reply, moves inside. What's wrong? I'm hungry. Not this body, but my true body. The moment I return to my true form, I attack my hunger pains. If that happens during the final fight, then we'll be in trouble. Ah, yeah, that would be bad. I have an idea about where this is leading, but... I just give a non-committal answer. Tomorrow gave me some advice. Return to my true body and then feast on some stuff. But can't you only return to your true body for a few seconds? 
It's okay, Luca. You're a quick shot. I'm sure you can make it. <laughs> if I'm sucking stuff from a man during it, then I can maintain the form. So that's how I'm going to sate my hunger. You don't mean for me right now. I ask the eternal time, reveal my body yoked in twilight. Without waiting for me to reply, I'll chance the words of dispel. Wait a second! Return my true body to me. Without stopping, she returns back to her true body. 